Welcome to the HL7 to Azure Health Data Service Fire Service to Dataverse demonstration. And in this folder, I have a sample of three HL7 files. Now I'm going to run the import. So I will launch the epic bat file and this will ingest and orchestrate the HL7 files into the Azure Health Data Fire Service in Azure and it just completed. Now I'll just go into the Epic Archive folder and we'll look at it. And you can see at the very top, 1229, there are the three HL7 files that I ingested. And I'll just open one up here so we can see it. And we can see that it says Johnson Zero is the patient name. Remember that. Now I'll open up another file and we can see that this is Johnson Two. And you can remember that. And then file three that one and you can see that the patient name is Moss 3. Now I've toggled over to the Teams on Fire application. I'm going to click search and we should see all three of the HL7 records and there they are. Johnson 2, Moss 3, and Johnson 0. Teams on Fire is accessing these records right from the Azure Health Data Service, the Fire Service. And if we click on one of the records for Johnson 2 and click on that and I can see the encounters, labor, and delivery and then the details, the class is obstetrics. And you can also see the patient demographics that were imported in. And also look at this, the provider is Austin Clemens. And we know that it came from Epic because it has the Epic EMR. Okay, now I'm in Dataverse and Dynamics. I'm gonna click on the People tab under the Care Management application in Dynamics for Microsoft Cloud for Health. And I get a list of all the active patients. So I'm going to filter these patients. And since we know it was Johnson 2, I'll just say that the patient name contains the number 2 to make it easy to find that particular record. Hit apply. And you can see, there we go. There's our patient, Wesley 2 Johnson. And the primary practitioner is Austin Clemens. And I can click on this to get further information that was ingested from the fire service through the Pi Systems connector into Dataverse, and then I can see that patient information in Dataverse. So we have Wesley 2, Johnson 2, and that is correct, and it's just pulling up the information in Dynamics. Okay, here's our record for Wesley 2, Johnson 2. We've got his date of birth in there, 328, 2003, and the home address, 9200 Valley Pike, Portsmouth, California. That's right from the HL7 file. And we can see that the data was ingested by the Dataverse app. So that lets us know where it came from. So that was the using the Pi Systems connector to sync data from the fire service into Dynamics. And then we also see the primary practitioner, Austin Clemens, from the HL7 file through fire was ingested as well. And so we can see that record and we can click on that and we can see that information in the application. Let's just check the original HL7 file. Here it is, Johnson, Austin, Clemens, and we also see Portsmouth, California in there in the address. All right, I'm back in Dynamics and back at the Patients tab. I'm gonna hit Edit Columns and I'm gonna select some different columns that we can see in the view. So I'm gonna click on Add Columns. And then you can see I've got a number of columns that aren't displayed by default that I can go down and pick those columns that I want to see in this view. So I'm going to click on created by. Now I can scroll to the right and we can see the additional columns that I've selected. And we see the created by the Dataverse app. So that's where the connector comes in. And just to show you this, I can hit sort and we have some default records from DEPA that will come up. So when it sorts that, it'll show that DEPA had created some records when we first installed Microsoft Cloud for Health, some sample records. And then we've processed about 24,000 HL7 files uh, in a 24-hour period just for testing. And we're optimizing performance, error logging, that sort of thing, just to make sure that if there's any issues with the data, that you'll be able to diagnose those and fix it. 
and we have the ability to throttle the, the connector so that it doesn't overrun Dataverse and its ability to ingest the data, for example. And then now I'm just going to click sort, newest to oldest. Give that a second. Back over to the left so you can see the three HL7 files uh, that we ingested into Fire and then synced with Dataverse so we can see them in Dynamics. There's Cindy 3, Wesley 2, and William 0. I'll just slide this over so you can see the full patient name. And there you go. Really slick. So now your HL7 data is in Microsoft land. We're in the Fire Service. We are in Dataverse, we are in Dynamics, and now you can build your power applications and you can connect to customer insights and do whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching.